If you had had any thoughts at all of moving to Eagle, Idaho, up here in the Boise area, this is the video for you. Today I'm going to break down everything that you need to know about living here in Eagle. What are some of the hot spots? Where are you going to spend a lot of your time? Where do we see development going? We're going to take a look at a few of the neighborhoods that I think are just going to explode over the next year or so. And I want you to be the one that knows about them so that you can stay ahead of the game and really get that home that you absolutely want. I live in Eagle. I love it here. And I want to share that with you. What's up guys, I'm Chase Dolan, your Boise Realtor, and in this video today, I'm gonna to share with you some of the best things about living here in Eagle, Idaho. If you are having any sort of thoughts, whether you're looking right now, maybe next year, maybe in the future of moving up here to our area, drop me an email down below. All of our information is in the description. I would love to chat with you. I help people just like you every single day make that move up here. And I would love to continue to do that and show you our great town that we get to call home. And if as you're watching this video, you enjoy the content, you want to keep seeing everything about Boise, Meridian, Eagle up here in the Treasure Valley, hit that subscribe button down below. That way you are the first to know everything that you need to know about living here in the Boise, Idaho area. But today we're really focusing on why in the world would you live in Eagle? What do you need to know about what's about to explode here in 2024? And where are those developments that a year from now, people are really going to be looking back and saying, oh, I missed an opportunity. I wish I would have chosen to live here. I wish I would have snagged a lot. I wish I would have started construction eight months ago. There are a few of those. So we're going to walk through those today. But enough with me here at the intro at the beginning. Let's hop right into the computer and start to take a look around. Okay, so to get started with our little tour of Eagle, Idaho today, let's start with location. So Eagle is going to be located here on the northern edge of the Treasure Valley. So it's going to be bordered by Star on the west side, Meridian on the south side, and then you're going to have Boise kind of coming up and meeting it here on the east side. Eagle itself, though, has really good proximity to a lot of what you're going to want here in the area. So getting started with just getting downtown. The easiest way to get downtown Boise is going to be just taking Highway 44 here or State Street. This is definitely not an interstate highway that's moving at 75 to 80 the entire way. It is still a city street, so you're going to have some street lights. You're going to have a lot of different grocery stores, strip malls, restaurants, and such as you go down. But it does move very, very quickly. This is a road that if you're going down during those commuting hours, you're going to run into some traffic. Same thing if you head up here with Chinden. Those are going to be two of the main thoroughfares from this part of town into downtown. So just be prepared for that. But again, it's pretty minimal compared to what I've been used to in the past. And then what I know a lot of people who I'm helping relocate here, what they're used to, where they're coming from. Our traffic is pretty much a breeze. But for our area, this is where you're going to see a lot of it. Now, when we're talking about going into downtown Boise, you're going to be looking at about a 25-ish minute drive on most days. Getting out here towards Southeast Boise, that's going to take you about a total of 40 minutes from Eagle. So definitely you're a little bit separated from this part of town, but if you're moving into Eagle, you're not super concerned with Southeast Boise. An important area of Boise to know about, though, is this is where our airport is. And from Eagle, you're basically typically going to shoot down Eagle Road. It's going to take you into I-84. That's going to take you around 20 to 25 minutes to get there. So the airport is in pretty close proximity to everything here in our valley. We're really lucky with the airport that we have. It is growing pretty quickly. So we're starting to have more nonstop flights. There's a lot of good things about our airport, but the main crux of this is you're going to have to fly at some point. If you have people visiting you, if you're going places or you just like to have fun, you are within shouting distance of there. Now, going south into Meridian, you're going to be about 15 minutes from the center of Meridian. If you wanted to go all the way out here towards the southern end of Meridian, maybe Discovery Park, you want to go golfing out here at Falcon Crest, whatever it is, that's going to be looking at kind of closer to that 35 minutes out there. Let's zoom in real quick. Because one of the things about living in Eagle is you're going to see that Eagle is this area here on the northern tip. But if you're living in Eagle, the main areas that you're going to have kind of resources, you're going to have the shopping, you're going to have grocery stores, restaurants, coffee shops and such are going to be right here located right next to downtown Eagle. In all of these outskirts areas, you're really not going to have a lot right now. So for people that live out, let's say, in this northwestern edge of Eagle, the place that's going to be in the closest proximity to you is probably going to be right up here up Linder. You're going to have a ton of stuff right here. So this is where you're going to find Orchard Park. You're going to find the new library. You're going to find Winco, Fred Meyer, a ton of restaurants. Costco is located just up here. That is where you're going to spend a lot of your time. And we're probably about 10 minutes, 15, if you have some good traffic from there. So again, you have that access to things. Even when you're looking at a map, you might not see a ton of stuff. You are you are very, very close to everything that you're going to need. Now, zooming back out real quick, just to give you some more context that maybe you need, maybe you don't, is 
if you're in Eagle and let's say that you want to head out to kind of the wine scene out here, maybe you want to go out to Lake Lowell, um, or you just want to go to Indian Creek Plaza for dinner for the Christmas lights in Caldwell, from Eagle to Caldwell, you're going to be looking at about that 35-ish minutes. To get out towards kind of Lake Lowell, I would estimate around 45 minutes to get there. So again, you're a little bit more separated based off where you choose to live. But if this is something that is you're going to be going out to the lake every single weekend, maybe you want to be a little bit closer. But if you're not and you want to live in this part of town, you do know that you're just a little bit of a drive out. And that's one of the main things about Eagle that I absolutely love is let's go up here to more of the actual outdoors. So all of this kind of on the northern edge of our Treasure Valley, you can see Boise here with Eagle. These are going to be our foothills. So you're going to have a ton of stuff here. As you start to shoot up Highway 55, which is our main route kind of out of town, you're going to pass Horseshoe Bend. It's going to take you up to Banks right here. Banks Loman is a big, big drop off if you're into whitewater rafting, you want to go kayaking, anything along there. A very popular route coming down the Payette is it kind of drops you down and then you kind of get out right here. So it's about a four, month, four hour sort of rafting trip. It can take you down. You can continue down as far as you want, um, but that's kind of the main thoroughfare, I would say, for rafting for people that are coming out of town. A couple of other towns that I always like to mention is as we continue to go up, you're going to have Garden Valley right here, and then you're also going to have Cascade. As you continue to go, that's where you're going to get into McCall. You're going to have Donnelly right here. There's a lot of cool stuff, but that's going to take us more like two to two and a half hours out of town. The really cool thing about Eagle is we're only about an hour away from Garden Valley. So if you really like this part of town, it is absolutely gorgeous. You can go there pretty much on a Friday afternoon, have a good solid two days there, and you're not feeling like you're driving more than you're actually enjoying the place, if that makes sense. Cascade, you're going to be about two hours from Eagle. So still within shouting distance, but once we get out, you're definitely going to have a little bit of a further drive. Now, as we come back into town, you're going to see that here in Eagle, there's going to be a couple of hot spots for kind of all of the fun stuff that is located here in the area. So when we're zoomed in here, you're going to see Eagle Road and State Street right here where they intersect. The entire blocks kind of surrounding this those are going to be our main areas that you're going to want to pay attention to. So as you can see, again, Eagle Road and State Street come in. As we zoom in, you're going to find some of our absolute favorites. Coins is one of our favorite dinner places here. On this side of the road, you're going to have Porterhouse, which is a great little sandwich shop meat market. You're going to have Bella Aquila, which is a really good Italian place. You're going to have a lot of the fan favorites with the griddle, Idaho Pizza Company. Bardenay is one that a lot of people really, really enjoy. And then as we come a little bit more north into actual downtown Eagle, you're going to have Rembrandt's here, which is a favorite. There's going to be a couple of new places popping up. This is kind of our main downtown street, I would say, basically right here through a little bit farther than here. Spitfire Tacos is brand new. We have a new brewery that just got put in. There's going to be a few really good places. Um, come on. There it is. Da Vinci's is super good. One of my favorite sandwich shops. It's up there with Porterhouse is going to be Tasso right here. And then as you continue down, this State Street will connect with big State Street. So this is old State Street. This is State Street. As you kind of start to zoom in here, if you want some sort of Sicilian food, you want good pizza, Kachi is very, very good, highly, highly underrated. You're going to have the Eagle Tennis Club. You're going to have Jobino's, which is a nice wine bar, lunch spot, coffee shop, kind of everything rolled into one. And then as you continue down, this is really where we see Eagle and Boise kind of start to intersect and they start to overlap a little bit. On this northern edge, you're going to see Stephen Gruber Park, which is the big park here in Eagle. And then outside of that, you're really going to start to see that it's just a ton of suburbs. So residential development is a big, big focus in Eagle. When we're talking development in Eagle on the whole, they definitely develop a little bit slower than some of our other counterparts. That's why Eagle hasn't grown quite as quickly as Meridian, for example. But they are adding all of the services, the things to do, things that kind of increase that lifestyle here. Um, but they are a little bit more deliberate. So as you can see, as I was zooming through, there aren't a ton of chain restaurants. You are going to have a couple of fast food spots, but you're not going to have all of the chilies, Outback, Red Robin, anything like that. That's just not what Eagle really wants the town to turn into. Remember that Eagle is a population of just around 30 to 35,000 people. So it is still a very small town compared to the 250,000 in Boise, around 130-ish thousand in Meridian. One thing that I always like to point out is one of the best parts about living in our valley is you have got the Boise River that just runs through downtown Boise, but then also through a ton of downtown Eagle. There's a few spots to really get down and take advantage of this. So where I want you to always remember is this little green strip right here. This is our Boise Greenbelt. So this runs for about 30 miles from the edge of Boise all the way into Star. 
There's trails. Some of them are paved. Some aren't great place for biking, walking, hanging out with the kids, dogs, hopping in the river, going fishing, whatever you want to do. That's a really good one. Two of the main spots here in Eagle are you can park on the weekends over here by this kind of title office right off of Eagle Road. State Street is just right up here. This is Eagle. This can take you right down to the Greenbelt. The parking spots over here, I'm not going to lie, literally border the Greenbelt. So that's about as close as you can get on weekends where it's extremely busy. You might have to fight for parking just a little bit more. There's also going to be, as we come a little bit further out, all of this is going to be open. So you'll be able to walk through here. It just depends on if the business allows you to park or not. Um, you make that call for yourself. But Reed Merrill Park is another one that we park at a lot. So you can be here in the park. This little trail takes you all the way down to the Greenbelt. And it's just a really good way to get out and actually enjoy one of the better parts of living here in our valley, something I don't think we take advantage of enough for sure. Now, staying on the topic of kind of the things to do, the outdoors, the high quality things of living here in Eagle, as I zoom in, you're going to see Eagle Island State Park here. So let's go ahead and do that. So Eagle Island is going to have a ton of stuff for you to do. It is a state park, so there is a small entrance fee. I think last year it was seven bucks. Um, there's going to be the disc golf course. They're going to have a playground. They're going to have in the winter, they actually turn it into a big tubing hill. They're going to have walking paths. They're going to have trails. I believe you can go horseback riding. You can bring your dogs. There's a little river. There's places to play. It is a really cool place to go out on the weekends here in town and get a little bit of that outdoorsy experience without having to shuttle the family two hours north into Cascade. Again, it's something that I highly recommend you check out. And if you're really looking to be have that active component to your lifestyle, this is a good one. If you get that state parks pass, you can go as much as you would like. On the top here, we also have Ada Eagle Bike Park. So, I mean, here you can tell all of the different trails here. This is really big for people into dirt biking, BMXing, mountain biking, whatever it is. There are all sorts of racetracks up here. Very, very cool place if you want to go out and explore that side. And again, you can kind of see as I'm just going through here, all of the homes that are in Eagle. It is very, very, very residential heavy. And on that note, we're going to hop over and look a little bit more at the actual real estate that is available. So we're going to look at kind of some of the neighborhoods that I think you really need to be paying attention to here in 2024, because either the opportunity might be closing and it might pass you up, or there's some big ones that are just now starting that a lot of people are really flocking to. We have a couple that I'm about to talk about that are just flying off the shelves, basically. They are moving much quicker than anybody anticipated. And I wanna give you a little bit of a taste of what can your money get you in Eagle so that when you're looking at Eagle versus Meridian, Boise, you know what $600,000, for example, will get you in each of these places. And that's kind of the first step of figuring out if a place is right for you. So as we're looking, there are gonna be a few communities that I really want to highlight. So again, just so that we have our bearings, this is downtown Eagle here. You're going to have Eagle Road, State Street, and then this is going to be Highway 16 where we see Eagle pass into Star. Over here, I want to show you very, very quickly. We are finally, so Legacy is the one that we're going to talk about. This is a development that people have been so enamored with for about a decade now. It has been a massive development. I will go ahead and highlight it here, how big it truly is. Let's hop back over here. Legacy itself is... Goodness gracious. There we go. So legacy itself is going to be located basically from here. It comes down all the way through here and then shoots up and comes around. They have another phase going up here and then it'll come. That is a massive, massive development. Now, what they did is they really tried to provide something that was new and fresh to the area. So they have a ton of walking paths. They have a little golf course. They've got community pools. They've got a big green space in the center for kind of kids, sports, soccer fields, football fields, baseball fields, all of that. But one of the really unique things that they did is, oh, come on. They actually made these little man-made lakes throughout the development. So you can see here, there are a ton of these little tiny pond lakes, whatever you want to call them. But these allow for waterfront property in a part of town that just doesn't have access to that. So this is a big reason why Legacy was extremely, extremely popular. And it still is as we go. This phase right here to the north, and we'll hop back over here. Oh, come on right here on the northern edge of Legacy. This is gonna be basically the final phase that they're going into. So for a development that has really been a staple of people looking at new construction in Eagle for quite some time now, this is gonna to start to close up. You're gonna see here, Tricidio is the main builder for this final phase. You're gonna have homes in the 800,000s all the way up to the 1.1, 1.2-ish on the bigger side. But again, you get access to all of the amenities that Legacy has to offer. 
going north just a little bit into a development that is brand spanking new. There are some homes that are getting completed. There are some lots that are already reserved. We're going to talk about TerraView. So TerraView up here, the developers are a very similar developer team to Legacy. Some of the same people that put that together are the ones putting TerraView together. And their entire vision was they wanted to provide another development kind of on the scale of Legacy, but bring it up just a notch. So the amenities, the landscaping, the homes that are going to be in there, everything is just kind of Legacy on the next level. As you can see in front of me, you have homes that reflect that price point. So these are gonna be some of the luxury of the luxury here in our area. So you're gonna see here, it's a $2.4 million home. We're just under 4,500 square feet. You can see here some of the concepts that they're planning on. So this is what they're planning on this looking like. This is basically legacy. I actually believe this is legacy. TerraView is gonna be set up very, very similarly. So they're gonna have these big, big lakes. Lots here are much bigger than some of them in legacy. You're gonna have community clubhouse. Everything here is just going to be extremely, extremely desirable. The builders are another level. One of my favorite builders out here, Sherburn Mars, they are one of the main developers here in the area. This one's by Solitude Homes, which builds a really good home. 2.4 million, 2.5. This is Sherburn Mars here, 5,400 square feet, and then 3,100 square feet down at a measly 1.7 million. So if you're looking for that kind of really high end lifestyle, you really want that next house. And that's something that you're looking for here in Eagle, which is a big reason why people do move to Eagle is because it provides that this could be a one of a kind opportunity that we're just running out of land a little bit. So we don't know exactly when the next one will pop up, but this is one that I definitely have seen people really get enamored with. And it just offers a product and a lifestyle that's really hard to compete with um, in other parts of town. Now, maybe you're looking at that and you're like, Chase, I love Eagle. I am really excited. I want more of a luxury home, but I just don't have 2.5 million to spend on a home right now. I want to take you over into one that I highlighted on the channel last year, but it's starting to get developed out more and we're seeing people really flock to these homes. We have Stags Crossing. So Stags Crossing is again located, Legacy is right here, Terra View, and then this is going to be State Street down here. So Stags Crossing, as we zoom in, you're going to see that the home prices here are down closer to that 1 million to 1.1 size or range. There's a couple of builders in here that I really want to highlight. So Big Springs Construction is the one that built this home. They are known across our valley for these very large garages, big lots, really grand luxury homes, tall ceilings, high-end finishes. Absolutely love them. But you can see the level of quality, the level of craftsmanship, but also the uniqueness of these homes. They're not trying to just give you another builder grade home and asking you to spend a million dollars. 1.2 million for around 3,000 square feet. You're gonna have 1.5, 1.05 million for around 3,000 square feet. Again, with Tresidio, you're gonna have um, Todd Campbell. You're gonna have, come on, let me out. You're gonna have here Gardner Homes. There are a ton of great builders here in Stags. This is gonna be a little bit smaller of a development. So this isn't gonna be the grand scale of legacy Terra View. But if that's not really what you're looking for, this is a really good alternative that's in a really good location, a little bit closer to town. But you're gonna have big lots, really nice luxury homes at a quote unquote more affordable price point than the 2 million that we just looked at. As we start to zoom out here, as we're going through, you can kind of see where the prices in Eagle are gonna be at. Um, I have videos on my channel breaking down the cost of living, the numbers for each of our cities, but then Eagle in particular. So go ahead and check some of those out. But our median price point here in Eagle is gonna be around $800,000. So it's gonna be the highest here in our valley. Meridian's gonna be closer to around 500,000. Boise's around 550. Getting out into Canyon County, Nampa, Caldwell, you're going to be a little bit closer to that 350 to 400. So Eagle is definitely a little bit pricier, but there's a lot of reasons for that. So as we're coming in, one that I wanted to point out here is as we zoom in, maybe not that far since this is an older one. If you're looking for a little bit more of a budget-friendly option here in Eagle, and you're willing to sacrifice a little bit on the lot size, you don't need a massive backyard, you really want a hot quality built home, but you don't need it to be 4,000 square feet. I want to point you right here to Bellmead. So Bellmead is a subdivision that Venta Homes is building in there primarily, but there's also a couple of others built more, et cetera. You're going to see here that for 510,000 in Eagle, you're going to get around an 1800 square foot home. You're going to have all of the high end finishes that Venta and these builders are known for. But what you're going to sacrifice on it is if it'll take me out to the backyard so you can see walk in showers, dual vanities, tile all around. They have designer light fixtures. They're not completely cheaping out on anything. You're gonna have hard surface flooring throughout the main level here, bonus rooms. You're gonna be sacrificing a little bit on the lot size. So you can see that the homes here are just a little bit closer together. And then the backyard is not going to be kind of your backyard oasis. But if that's not what you're looking for, I don't want you to spend money on it. So this is a really good way. If Eagle is your primary way, place that you're looking at, 
you have a home that could get you into this Bell Mead subdivision, a lot of them are very, very similar. So there's not going to be a huge diversity in kind of the size of the home. But I believe, yeah, all are around that. I think 1800 might be about the highest that you can get in this neighborhood. Yep. So the location, though, here is extremely, extremely appealing is the word. So you're going to be located right here. Basically, this is Eagle High School. So if you have kids that are going into their high school years, you're going to be right down the road from them. State Street is right here. Eagle Island State Park is literally just about a five minute drive from Bellmead. And then as we come out just a little bit more, it kept that 510. Keep an eye on that that is going to be where we're located so then you're gonna have all the stuff here in downtown you're gonna have everything here in north meridian it's just a really good location and again it's at a much much more affordable price point than honestly most of the stuff here in eagle and then to wrap up a little bit there are a lot of really good developments here in eagle you're going to have some of the older neighborhoods that are giving you again a little bit more of that under the median price point feel you're going to have a ton in that eight to nine hundred thousands but when we're looking at new construction there's one area that I want to point out, and it's this area right here, this big undeveloped section right next to Homestead, which is one of my favorite communities here in the area. This is going to be Kingswood Estates. So Kingswood Estates, if I can zoom in, I guess it's not going to give me much. Right now, it's literally just a field, but this is located and this is going to be a new development by Todd Campbell Custom Homes. And they're also going to have Venta Homes, which is their kind of spec side of things. This is going to get started in summer of 2024. So we're going to start to see development and ground and dirt being pushed here relatively soon. They're going to have a ton of luxury homes in here, probably on the same level as some of their other developments. Iron Mountain Estates in Star is a great example of what this will kind of look like. Bigger lots, you're going to have really good homes. Venta and Todd Campbell, they're very, very good at giving a high quality home because their standard of finishes and such are very, very high. Price point, we're not really sure where it's going to be, but based off Homestead here and some of the others around us, I have a feeling it'll be floating around that, probably starting at the eight, nine hundred thousands. But this is one, if you like this location, you like some of these builders, but let's say that you're a couple more months out, reach out. We can start to get you on the interest list here because as soon as lots are available, basically in Eagle with all these subdivisions that I'm talking about, when lots first come available, they are seeing a good number just get scooped up right at the beginning because people have been waiting for them. So if you want your pick of the litter, definitely go ahead and reach out. We can connect everybody so that you can really have that first choice that you really, really want. And there you have it. If you can't tell, I am very, very biased. I think Eagle, Idaho is one of the best places that you can call home really anywhere, but especially here in the Treasure Valley. There are going to be some pros and cons for everybody. So if you are still trying to make that call, figure out what works best for you. We have a ton of videos on the channel that can really walk you through that decision making. And if you have any sort of specific questions, this is what we do. We help people just like you make the move up here to Eagle. So feel free, drop us a call, text, email, whatever works best for you. Any questions, whether you're making a move nine days from now or nine months from now, we would absolutely love to connect and figure out a way that we might be able to help. But until then, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something that helps move your journey forward just at least one step. And I'll see you all on the next one.